Hello. Nice to hear. Outer Wilds. Um, last part I went through the uh, Dark Bramble and got somewhere, but then I fell out of that place, and I think there was more to do there, so I'm gonna head right back, probably edit past most of the journey. Um, <sighs> it's been a while since I recorded. I'm actually, I've got no backlog, despite my intention to stay ahead to uh, avoid potential spoilers. Fortunately, there uh, haven't been any in the comments. Um, yeah, <laughs> the whole wildfire coughing thing wasn't great for my recording. Okay, yeah, I'll like meet you at the giant anglerfish skeleton or something. Surprised I didn't hit an area of gravity? Okay. I made it here. Let's, uh, of course, go this way now. the hollow root, which is in fact hollow. I don't think it is in both directions. I have to go this way. Bonking into the sides of the passage all the time, why not? Uh, a bit more gravity in here than zero. Specifically, there was 0.3 gravity. 0.4 now? All right, don't fall off. Here's the thing again. I didn't observe anything interesting in it before. Oh, what's this? Note to Feldspar, do not eat this even if you are dying. It would be too sad if this was the last thing you ever eat in this life. <laughs> I guess these jellyfish are only useful for insulation from electricity. Again, do not eat. Love, Feldspar. Hip log updated. Okay, so that was the remaining mystery. Um, related to that, but there should be a way to the center of the water planet, I thought. Partially why one of these is here. Examined the recording last time I was here. The root. Tips down there. I don't see anywhere else to go. I mean, at least I got the jellyfish mystery that I missed last time. Just didn't go deep enough in. I'm hoping walking this passage backwards will enable me to see something I didn't notice while going forwards. Uh, probably not in this area. It's a pretty straight passage. I feel like I'm already not where I just was. Very easy to remove yourself from that space, apparently. Ow. 
Anyway, let's go back in the ship. I don't think I have time to make that journey again this time loop. Also, I'm not sure what else I would even do there. Um, there's, there's the entry for it. Thought my ship log was updated. Also, uh... Yeah, the frozen jellyfish. After tasting the inside, uh, tasting the inside of the jellyfish, Spelled Spark concluded that these jellyfish are only useful for insulation from electricity. Yep. I know about the uh, statue workshop. I wonder if I, or rather, I've been wondering. If the uh, alternate, more dangerous route is past the ghost mouter, maybe I need to actively use my camera and maybe there's room to sneak by it. It may not take up the whole passageway. I wonder if I did need to actually go through the whole thing every time. Although I don't see the jellyfish in any of the ice heat. I guess I came from, what, that direction? Yeah, who knows. Um, let's get over to Giant's Deep. I guess the passage could also be that one that fills with sand. I think that was this planet as well. In that case, I'm probably too late in the cycle to get through it. I guess, can I find the cave with the ghost matter? I guess now that my controller is working, Unlike in episode one, I should also play with the ghost matter den or pen or whatever you want to call it in the um the tutorial area. I could try to match speeds with that and land on it, but also not do that. Progress with the ship? No, I'm definitely getting pushed away. Wonder how I identify the area where you actually can get under the. under the water. cave with the ghost matter. I oh, guess I've landed. Oh, I did not refuel, though. Can't really fly here, but might need to make a jump. Ah, um, oops. <laughs> I'm back in the ship. It would be more convenient if I could just, uh, yeah, take snapshots while I'm holding it. I think it's blocking the whole passage. Unless I can get above it or something? Or. Hmm. That did a lot of damage, I think. I mean, the suit is all lit up red. All 
Alright, so I think that's a no-go. I mean, it's also not even the same island as the statue workshop. But that doesn't mean there couldn't be a tunnel. Ghost matter is all the way over there. Oh. Yeah, that's where it is, but it's not like there are any side passages here. Good thing you never get bored of the rain, I guess. Okay, we didn't find anything he wants to talk about. I thought he might be interested in the jellyfish. Found your ship. Oh, cool. So it's floating in the ocean, huh? Did it look like it was having a good time? Why did you say stay so calm in the face of repeated... Or whatever. Deep breaths. No, seriously, I meditate. Want me to teach you? It'll be the next loop before you know it. If I hit this, will it actually start the next loop? Sure, why not? Okay, close your eyes. We have apparently learned meditation. I wonder if it'll add something to the pause menu to start the next loop. Oh yeah, on the way to the planet, I flew really close to the sun, but nothing bad happened. <sighs> right. I wanted to play around with the ghost matter back here. Uh, wherever that was. It was a camera pointed at it, I remember. I wouldn't mind inspecting the first statue again as well. Also, okay, yeah, meditate until next loop exists. I feel like there used to be a different option there, like abandon loop or something. Maybe I'm just thinking of what Quit did. Maybe there weren't four things there before. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I guess this would be easier if I got into the spacesuit. Plus, I can look around from up here. Uh, right there it is. But it was somewhere down there. I don't know how well the suit's thrusters will do against this planet's gravity. I feel like, yeah, I needed the actual boost to gain height. Must have been on the path to the observatory before, right? I do wonder how much there is to do back here, anyway. I'm not sure what percentage of this planet's surface I've even seen. Ah. Yeah. This spot's safe? No, it's not. <laughs> I have died to ghost matter because I couldn't jump backwards over the fence. And I <laughs> forgot what the better thrusters button was. Anyway, 
let's skip it all the way to the museum again. And yeah, not gonna grab the suit this time. G cave. I don't think I need to read that note again. Sure is a statue. No, my statue, the eyes are open. They used to be closed. Not sure why they opened since no one actually saw it happen. Huge news. Okay. Bet you wish you'd seen that happen, huh? Me too. So it opening its eyes in reaction to us transcended time, I think. Uh, found Feldspar. You're in the Dark Bramble. Finding them. Didn't immediately join you on your ship and return here. That's incredibly Feldspar of them. Never sure what Feldspar was thinking back then either. Ought to fish them out of the dreadful place with all haste. Should be Gossan who brings Feldspar. Alright. Of course, that's not going to have any lasting effect. Just... Oh... Nearly ready. Felix and I have finished construction, and she says calibrating the device won't take long. Fortunately, the Adel Rock's lack of atmosphere will make calibration simple. After all this time, I'm thrilled to finally resume our search. That's not text. Text is always loopy. It's essential dis to deciphering their unique language. Although the text is linear, no, my text often branches off from a central point. Interestingly, each branch tends to be written by a different author. No secret back text, okay. Now my skeleton. Had three eyes and antlers. Likely exclusively lived on land. Now my technology has been a great boon. Little Scout now boasts warp retrieval capability, okay. <laughs> this has dramatically reduced the number of scouts lost to the depths of space. Oh, I also made art. The pottery came from Brittle Hollow. It's strange animals, foreign celestial objects, and other subjects. Were the Nomai born here, or did they come here? I think I skipped over almost all of this text. Or Crystal was taken from a ruin. Seems to create a local gravity distortion. Likely used to traverse steep surfaces. Okay, yeah. I noticed one of these crystals in the, uh, the camp at Dark Bramble. Star is mass enough. We'll need to fuse carbon into even heavier elements like iron. will eventually collapse under its own gravity. Will one day be the fate of our sun. Turns out it's like 20 minutes away. As the star's core contracts, it gets hotter, causing the outer layers to expand. The stars become a red giant. Yes. Yes. That's how stars work. Not getting any mysteries as a result of all of this. Oh, hey. Wait, is that a live specimen, or is it just, like, an animatronic? 
Okay, it was found attached to the landing gear of a ship. Well suited to dark spaces with minimal atmosphere. Kinda interesting seeing this after having actually explored. Okay. It's the current map. Is that anything? No, I can't even point the cursor at it. Things in the background. Understood. I don't think I've tried landing on Hollow's Lantern at any point. There might be spaces it's safe to land on. Oh, never read this. Hornfell's Observations. Okay, yeah. There are galaxies. There are a lot of galaxies. Every single galaxy in this image is moving away from us. In fact, the farther away it is, the faster it is moving. Almost as if the entire universe is expanding. The universe have beginning... Okay. The universe seems pretty similar to ours. These. These balls move on their own. The ground is perfectly level, so what do you think causes this spooky motion? It's the moon! Okay. Probably takes a while before they do anything. Meanwhile, this one... Spooky. I did read these before. How far you can <coughs> can fall without the space suit on. Not that you'd need to know that in many areas of the game. Yeah, I suspect you're way easier to kill without the spacesuit, though. I don't even have the health display. Oh. <laughs> so aim it more up. Maybe that's two up. I think the marshmallow is still pretty much white. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm sure not roasting it. I was never good at this in real life, either. Oh, I caught it on fire. <laughs> Whatever. Uh... Maybe the lighting was just bad and I was roasting it at the larger range. It looked white to me, though. I probably have like 10 minutes of video left and more than that of loop timer on account of I died multiple times this video already. Yeah, what else is even on this planet? I'll follow the river, I guess. Oop, that's not the button that lets me roll. 
Trying to maintain down is down. door that I probably can't do anything with. Bonk. <laughs> eh? Uh interesting. the actual turbo boost button. Huh. Not seeing much of interest there, but the rock is sparkly. Oh, I'm being gravity. Ejected. Oh, writings. Um, too close. Still amazed by how much ore the Ash Twin project requires. Isn't this the ore for the remaining towers being built on Ash Twin? The complicated towers I've seen are quite large. No, the material for those towers is all being taken from Ash Twin. The ore we're mining here will be used to craft an immensely thick protective shell that will seal off the chamber inside Ash Twin's core. Relieved by our clan's decision to use timber hearths ore only for constructing the shell, if eventually life on this planet were to evolve to the point of advanced metallurgy, I'm confident we won't have destroyed their ability to create. If they're sealing off all entrances, I hope they've planned a... accordingly? Oh, accordingly, yeah. I thought I had forbidden your apprentice from making puns, Calais. How else would he improve? I can also take the scroll out, but if there aren't any other scrolls around here, there's not much point in messing around with it, huh? Back in you go. They have the same sort of twisty shape that the gravity shaft did. Ash Twin Projection Stone... I should probably put that in the projector, huh? Oh! Well, this is mysterious. Is this some sort of progress meter? I need more of them to light up. So, we know about two statues, so if it is statues, then why are there three lit? How many are there? Um, I wish I could still see my compass, but I guess whenever this is in front of me, that'll be the start point. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, seven. Because I counted this one first. And yeah, three are lit. I'm not sure how I quickly figured that three were lit up before. I guess it just felt like how far I'd rotated. And let's see, the projection stone will make writings if I put it in the other device. Right? Yeah. 
close. Oh yeah, <laughs> you hit the translate button. My gratitude for the latest shipment. Oh, I know. This ore should be the last we'll need for the Ash Twin project. This is exciting news. Can I offer an extra set of eyes for this final check? Specifically mine. If my work here is complete, I'd be delighted to help. We'll be grateful if you would. The more eyes, the better, as the smallest flower opening in the shell that protects the Ash Twin project could lead to disaster. Wonder if there was a disaster. We finished the shell that seals off the central... Yeah, central chamber. We'll check to ensure there are no longer any physical entrances. Raimi and I will be checking the interior and then the exterior for cracks, our final safety check. I wonder if I need to teleport with this projection... Or, er, not with... With not projection stones, but there was a teleporter area. Could it lead me to Ash Twin? And has it? I used the teleporter. I don't quite remember where I went with it. Got a ship log update, though, so that feels like progress. It's the, what, the second one of the video? Maybe not progressing super fast, but it feels like how this game goes. Okay, I'm not spending oxygen in here. That makes sense. Oh, I'm going down. Uh, I'm probably spending oxygen under the water. Oh. I must have spent a little since it bothered to tell me that it was refilled. Alright, so this is where I came in. Let's not close the door while I'm in it. Just look around briefly this way. Well, maybe not briefly if there's something to see. There's a secret behind a waterfall. Truly, this is a video game. I don't remember seeing these arches before. Or columns. I guess they're not arch shaped. Is that white hole? Oh, and this is the teleportation area. I think I have been here, but I didn't realize it was part of Timber Hearth, even though I was pretty sure I set up the teleporters to go to Timber Hearth. It just didn't feel like part of the same planet. Or I could have mixed up where I ended up. All right. I think I'm coming up on episode time. I am gonna look at the ship's log to see what changed, but that'll be it. It sure shows everything you did, but backwards. I like that it doesn't make you stare at a black screen for the time spent meditating. <laughs> it just does a shorter rewind. Uh, that's pretty handy. All right. Yeah, no my mines. Ash Twin Project. Okay, so there's no more mysteries to explore there. And yeah, definitely more to explore there. Yeah, there is more about the shuttle. Okay. Oh! So I need to go to Ember Twin and recall the shuttle and it will teleport out of the ice? Is that it? As usual, when I say things that sound like questions, I am simply thinking out loud to myself. 
Yeah, I, I was just thinking maybe it could be recalled like our uh, little probes can, because they do have teleportation technology. I probably need to go back to Ember Twin soon. <laughs> or the twins in general. Anyway, that'll be it for this part. See ya.